Produced in the early 60s by the South Australian Housing Trust, A Place to Grow was meant as a calling card for prospective new residents, aimed primarily at attracting suitable white English stock. In retrospect, a detailed study of this film gives us a good idea about the kind of people the Trust expected to populate Elizabeth, their city of tomorrow, and what was expected from them once they did. Elizabeth, South Australia. To you, perhaps, just a name. But to us here in South Australia, a city, the newest planned city in the Commonwealth of Australia. I know this city of Elizabeth well, and I've had the chance to help a lot of newcomers find homes. Homes like this. Two-story houses, bungalows, contemporary homes. But the job's not finished yet. We can build houses for you, but it's people who make homes. Like this family from Manchester. In two short years, they've made a home here. This man brought his family over from Sydney 18 months ago. To begin with, he and his family were strangers here too. Now they feel they're part of the town. As much a part of it as this man, another Australian who's helped the newcomers settle in and made them feel that this community is a good, friendly place to live in. And people from many different lands have made a new life in Elizabeth. After all, life goes on in much the same way here as it does in other countries. People have their jobs to do, their shopping to get. It's a busy, thriving community, and there's still room for many, many more. Perhaps that's where you come in. Perhaps like these newcomers, Bob and Joan Fisher, you'll get your first introduction in the Elizabeth Information Center. This is where they find out details of the sort of home they can have, the kind of life they'll lead here. The Fishers are a little early for their appointment, but I I dare say they're anxious to get settled. Oh, since you phoned, I had my secretary hunt up some photos of houses I thought you might like. Oh, this is attractive, Bob. I like the porch idea. Looks nice and light, too. How about this one? Hmm? Yes, I rather like that. But I think this is perhaps more in my style. They've all got nice big windows, haven't they? Well, I don't think we'll have any trouble finding a really nice home in Elizabeth. Now, Jobs, what's the employment situation like? Are there any big firms close by? I thought you'd ask that. You'll find that in Elizabeth, the factory areas have been planned close enough to the houses to be convenient. But, of course, not too close. There are many factories making a wide range of goods and calling for a large number of trades. Food mixers and kitchen appliances are made by this well-known English company. And here they make parts for pneumatic equipment of many kinds. Yes, there's a big variety of factories growing up. Pinock sewing machine, for example. New factories create new jobs. And in Elizabeth, there are new factories. All types of industry, light and heavy. General Motors Holden's, one of the largest, heads a list of names known the world over. And General Motors Holden's is pretty big business up this way now with a modern, well-equipped factory in very pleasant surroundings. In the Elizabeth factory alone, over 1,500 people are employed on two shifts. And shortly, this factory will cover one million square feet of working area. There's certainly employment opportunity. And skilled labor in particular is always in demand in this country. Factories like this, continually expanding, mean more prosperity for Elizabeth. 
In General Motors Holden's plant in Adelaide, over 6,500 are employed in almost 2 million square feet of factory space. Here in Adelaide, refrigerators and washing machines are manufactured. This company produces the Simca and Chrysler cars, right here in South Australia. And here, a light industry employs a large number of women. But whatever the job, light or heavy, and no matter how pleasant the working conditions, after a good day's work, a pint at the local agrees with any man. Now you're really talking. Oh, Bob will be all right. But with a handy job and the local just around the corner. But what about me? What are the shops like? You're taken good care of too, Mrs. Fisher. Whatever suburb of Elizabeth you live in, there's a shopping centre in your neighbourhood handy to get at and supplying all the family needs. And there's the main city centre. Big shops stocked with the world's finest merchandise. There's plenty of room to shop here, and the covered walks certainly help. In fact, I think the Elizabeth shopping centres are as modern as you'd find anywhere. Spacious arcades, second-level window displays, and good roomy shops. A modern supermarket supplies all the housewives' needs. There are suburban shopping centres throughout Elizabeth too. And while they're shopping, young mothers can visit the trained sister at the Mothers and Babies Health Centre. You won't have any problems because houses, jobs and shopping, the three basic needs of the family, are planned and laid out for convenience. You've got two children, haven't you? Yes. Kevin's 12 and uh, Brenda will be nine this month. Well, there again, careful planning has put the schools close to the homes, just as the factories and the shops are. There are primary schools with buildings and facilities of a really high standard. And for the more advanced pupils, there are splendid secondary schools that continue education up to matriculation standard, with a wide and varied choice of subjects. Everything is modern and up-to-date. Classrooms and equipment are the finest. Teaching standards are of the highest. There are technical and domestic science schools offering training in manual arts and home crafts. And a few miles away in Adelaide is the university. All in all, the education system in South Australia is one of the finest in the world. And the schools of Elizabeth are well up with this high standard. Well, it certainly seems like a fine town. Tell me, with all this good weather, do you play much sport here? Oh, yes, there are plenty of opportunities to take part in all sorts of activity in Elizabeth. We, we have our spectator sports, certainly. But generally speaking, Australians are not happy to just stand around and watch. They have to get into things themselves. Every weekend, you'll find them out on the courts. And in winter, a whole host of ball games from school matches to league games. Sport that's played the world over. There's some really good swimmers out here, too. And a fine day at Elizabeth always brings a big crowd to the Olympic swimming pool. And right from an early age, the children are taught to swim properly with coaching from Olympic swimmers like Dawn Fraser. Dawn holds three Olympic gold medals, and advice from her at this early age is well worth having. Going to the races is a favourite weekend outing here. There are four first-class courses within a few miles of Elizabeth, with a major race meeting every weekend. There are golf courses nearby, and some of the most beautifully situated are public courses. In South Australia, golf is everybody's game. All types, all ages play, sometimes with more enthusiasm than skill. And here, at Memorial Drive, 17,000 spectators watch the Davis Cup match on the centre court. Just next door is the Adelaide Oval, one of the world's most beautiful settings for sport. It's here that the famous cricket match is played, the fourth test. In the winter, there's a big following for Australian rules football.
St. Peter's Cathedral makes an unusual and beautiful background. And St. Peter's Cathedral is just one of the lovely churches of all denominations that we have here in South Australia. They're not all as charming as this one, but each and every one has its place in the hearts of the people. In Elizabeth, special Sunday school buses bring a happy crowd of youngsters along to church. And church life is very much part of the way of living in Elizabeth. For the young people especially, the church is doing a lot. Well, that's the general picture. Now I expect you'd like to have a look around for yourselves. Yes, we would. Yes, we have an address to look up. Someone from home. Fine, I'll run you around in the car. to a sales scheme at Elizabeth, rental houses and flats are built. The flats being for persons of special age groups and the waiting time for such rental accommodation can sometimes be considerable. Hello, Rob. Pretty good. How are you? Fine, thanks. My word, this garden looks beautiful. Ah, oh, yes, it's not bad. It's coming along. I find that most things go pretty well up here if you keep at it. Who are the new people? Young couple, Jack. They're going to come and live up here with us. They're visiting Mrs. Strange next door. Oh, that's wonderful. Mm. It's nice to have friends when you arrive. But I find it pretty easy to make friends up here at Elizabeth in any case. Mm. That's a nice garden next door, Jack. Oh, that's Yope's place. You know, he hasn't been out here all that long, and he's done wonders. You probably know him. He came out here from Holland and then came straight up to Elizabeth, I think. He'd have been in to see you about the house. Oh, I know him. How you going, Yope? You know, Ron, this new town and all these new people coming here is good for all of us, really. I mean, you get to know how people think and how they do things. Well, you get to realise that yours is not the only way. <laughs> Let's sit down, Jack. Yeah, sure. Uh... Think of the money you save. You don't have to travel anymore. We bring the people to you. Yes. Well, let's hope they're as happy about it as we are. <laughs> eh? hmm. How about you, Yap? You're glad you came here, aren't you? Oh, yes, indeed. It is a good place to live. We got our differences. I do not yet speak English so well, but we get on. <laughs> You've made a real home out of that place of yours, Yap. Pretty good going in a short time. Yes, it's nice looking. Uh, it's looking nice now. <laughs> <laughs> we all have our ups and downs. I suppose that happens everywhere. It takes time. But if a man has a home, a job, and friends, then that is what counts. How about a drink, Ron? It's pretty thirsty weather. Thanks, Jack. I'd like to be in it, but I, I can't wait now. Oh, that's bad luck. How about you, Yat? This is one custom I accept with pleasure. <laughs> I'll leave you to it. Well, if you feel like one later on, you'll come back. Well, see you later, Ron. Goodbye. Come on, Yat. You know, I think Yoke's right. A home, a job, and friends. That's what counts in any language. And there are people in this community from all over Australia, from all over the world, and they get along pretty well. There's an English family in this street. They've made a good job of their home and garden, too. Hello, Mrs. Crofton. Hello. Haven't seen you for a long while. Just driving by. Thought I'd drop in. Good. Come and say hello to Reg. Thank you. Oh, 
Ah, come in. I'm just doing my homework. How are you, Ron? Fine, thanks, Reg. Good day, Alan. Hello, Reg. My word, I like the way you furnish this room. Yes, we're very comfortable now. Had a bit of fun and games, getting things straight, of course. Fun, was it? Mm, here and there. <laughs> Well, was I right about these Australian timbers? Yes, it's maple. It makes the room look light, doesn't it? We've tried to get a nice, bright look right throughout the house. By the way, we've changed the colour scheme in the kitchen, too. Come and see it. Well, you're the expert there, dear. I'd better finish off our homework. I'll bet you enjoy this nice big kitchen. Ron, I can't tell you how thrilled I am with it. Especially now that we have the colour scheme the way we want it. Tell me... Are you glad you came to live in Elizabeth? Very glad. We've had our ups and downs, of course, but it's a real home to us now. A real home. That's just about the nicest thing that can be said about a place. We're very proud of our homes here, and that's how people make a real home, with time and effort. <laughs> Well, we've come around almost in a full circle. But you know, you can't fully appreciate this new city of Elizabeth without first seeing Adelaide, the capital city of South Australia. It's only 17 miles. You can get there by car quite easily. But it's almost as easy to go into town on the train. So it's no trouble to get into the city of Adelaide when you want to. And if you do drive, there's a splendid double highway that takes you right into the heart of Adelaide. This place where we're stopping is one of the most famous views of the city. It's called Light's Vision, after Colonel Light, who first surveyed the city of Adelaide back in 1836. From this spot, you can see the suburbs that lie to the east and the south, the hills that surround the whole of the Adelaide Plain, and the business centre of the city itself. <laughs> A classic example of an older building is Government House. The Union Jack flies above the house, signifying that the Queen's representative is in residence. And just to the left stands Parliament House, home of the South Australian Parliament. This stone from the Houses of Parliament in Westminster is a permanent reminder of the close ties between England and Australia. It was the South Australian Premier, Sir Thomas Playford, who first visualised the town of Elizabeth. It is only about five years since, with the permission of Her Majesty the Queen, I was able to name our new town Elizabeth. Now, since that time, large factories have been established, a very large city indeed has grown up, population of some 25,000 people, a very pleasant place to live in has been established. And I believe that the people of Elizabeth are very happy people indeed. In his 20 years of office, Sir Thomas Playford has seen big changes in Adelaide. A growing population, taller buildings, bigger business, and every year sees new buildings, increased trade, bigger opportunities in commerce and industry. Modern offices house thousands of workers, clerks, top executives, cleaners, professional men. Banks, stockbrokers, legal firms, and a truly Australian enterprise, the big pastoral companies, demand a workforce that grows in numbers every year. Even the hotels reach up to the skyline, a tall signpost to a state of growing prosperity. The shops reflect a similar pattern. The main shopping street in Adelaide is Rundell Street. There are department stores here that are a delight for any woman. Yes, Adelaide is fast becoming a big and important city. 
And yet, from King William Street, the heart of Adelaide, you're not far from the sea. You can drive there in a quarter of an hour, and those beaches are well worth seeing. There are lots of beaches like these in South Australia. Lots of places where children and young people can feel free to play and grow in the sun. You could really enjoy life in this town, and there's a place waiting here for you now. Elizabeth, the new town in South Australia, planned to provide a good life for Australians and for the newest of our new settlers from overseas. There's a place for you in Elizabeth where there's housing that gives plenty of opportunity for you to create a real home for your family. Time passes quickly when you're settling in, making a garden, meeting new friends, furnishing a house with the color schemes you want. And for your children, there's a fine education in schools with every modern facility and every opportunity for sport and carefree leisure hours. Elizabeth, a brand new city with a bright future, a good place to grow. <laughs> 